I'll take this little Israelite with me. She'll make a fine servant to bring me my wineskins. Small enough not to be seen or heard. <laughs> you don't deserve a servant. I'll take her off your hands. Get her back to me. Our Come first. Now let her go. Commander! Now go back to your men. <laughs> Come with me. You'll be safe. than saving the world from scavenging hordes of slime-sucking zombies! Oh, and the first 100 to register also receive a dozen scary zombie ringtones! Oh, no way! Yes, Wade, now gimme! I mean, no way! Giz and I just scored 1,000 free anti-rot power points if we download the game in the next five minutes! Dream on, Chris. <sighs> Your parents don't allow you to play Zombies of the Apocalypse. Scan deleted. Eh. Joy's right. Yes, it is probably a good thing anyway. I do not know how heroic I would actually be if I came face to face with a zombie. Even if I had lightning laser discs, super slime rockets, and a thousand free anti-rot power points. I'm in charge of the girls' volunteer club this semester, so I'm calling girls to work at the Valley View Food Pantry on Saturday. I've rounded up donations from over a hundred people, locked in three local supermarkets and two farm stands. Then I'm gonna make 20 posters and take a hundred flyers door to door. And now there's no one to work the 12 o'clock shift at the pantry, probably the busiest time all day. Why don't you just do it? I'm doing everything. This whole food drive would fall apart without me. 12 noon shift, no one. <sighs> Superbook! No! Superbook! Wait! What about my volunteer? <laughs> I am taking you to meet a man who learned humility from someone he least expected. inside somebody's house. Giz, get a reading. Let's just get out of here before we have a lot of explaining to do. According to my geosensors, we have landed in Syria, and the year is approximately 850 BC. Servant, are you there? Bring me the dressings on the table. Guys, <laughs> what is it? Oh my God, get out of here. <laughs> Come back! Ah! <laughs> Guys, in here! Servant, where are you? Zombies? Where are those super slime rockets? I don't want to die! <laughs> Oh, 
Hello. Uh, are you my master's new servant? We're, uh... New here. We just arrived. Yes, in the land of zombies. And now it is time to go. Do not worry. You will come to like it here. Naaman and his wife are very kind people. But what kind of people? Scary, oozing, bruising, flaky skin kind of people? You have heard about our master's illness? Heard about it? We just about got smacked down in zombie town! Kiss, will you can it? My master is a mighty man of valor, a commander in his king's army, and he protected me in a time of great danger. But now, he's being crippled by leprosy. What's leprosy? I will be here when you are ready. That is what we saw. And that means Naaman is not a zombie. <laughs> Info scanning leprosy. Wow, he has this terrible skin disease? And according to my files, there is no cure for leprosy here in 850 BC. My time is short. Do not speak of such things. I have led tens of thousands of men to victory in countless battles for Syria. Yet with all my wealth and power, I can do nothing against an unseen enemy that does this. So that I cannot even touch the ones I love. Master were with the prophet who lives in Samaria, for he would heal him of his leprosy. What? Child. What have you said to startle my wife? She says there is a prophet among her people who can heal leprosy. My soldiers raided your land and took you from your people. Yet when I watch you, I'm impressed at how you serve me, in the face of all that has happened to you. But do not speak to me of prophets and cures in Samaria, unless you know, without a doubt, that these things are real. My God is real. He wants to travel miles into enemy territory in search of a prophet? <laughs> we'll see what the king thinks of this news from an Israelite servant girl. Then, this girl from Israel tells me there is a prophet known among her people who can cure lepers. The Israelites have been our enemies. Still... <clears throat> Naaman, you are my most trusted general. Let us see if this news is true. I will write you a letter to the king. But return in time for the celebration of our god, Rimen. He is a god with power. charge and get what you want. I like how this general operates. Yes. Carry on to the lead.
See that the king of Israel receives this letter. Tell him I carry with me 10 talents of silver, 6,000 shekels of gold, and 10 changes of clothes as gifts to honor him. Now go. And tell the king I'm not used to waiting. I know just how you feel. I do not understand why the king of Syria sent his most important commander all this way. Is he planning an attack? If you will listen, I can... <gasps> Does he have soldiers hiding in the wilderness waiting for his word to storm our city? He has come with his servants bearing great gifts. And he sent this letter. Is it me? Or is he overreacting? With this letter, I present my servant Naaman. I want you to heal him of his leprosy. This man sends me a leper to heal? Am I God that I can give life and take it away? I can see that he's just trying to pick a fight with me. It is not a trick. I have seen the man for myself. He comes to you because you are the king, and the prophet Elisha lives under your rule. But Elisha, I am telling you what I witnessed with my own eyes and ears. The king tore his garments. You must take this message back to the king. Say, why are you so afraid? Send the man to me so that he will know there is a prophet in Israel. I'm just saying, it could happen. Couldn't. Could. Wouldn't. Might. If there were real zombies. Which there aren't. But if there were, and if they thought, like we first thought, that Naaman was also a real zombie. Which he's not. But if a zombie thought he was a zombie, Chris, then that zombie would come here and start hanging around Naaman. You know how zombies always hang around in groups. I don't know why, but they do. And pretty soon, mistaken identity or not, Naaman's a zombie magnet. Zombies think he's a zombie, and he's suddenly drawing random zombies from all over the region. Right here, right where you and I are trying to sleep. Good night, Gizmo. Oh, like you can sleep in the middle of a slime-sucking desert zombie showdown? All right. Looks like I have first watch then. <laughs> zombie! Hey, Joy. Early zombie warning system? Uh, teachable moment. She's not a zombie. Naaman's not a zombie. There are no zombies. Go to sleep. I'm just saying. I still got first watch. Could happen. Coming out of dark, night desert. Good night, Gizmo. Naaman has carried out the perfect plan. I mean, look. We've traveled deep into the enemy's territory, he showered their king with gifts, and now the king has arranged the meeting. It's going the way it's supposed to. Are you the prophet Elisha? I am his servant. The prophet says, go wash seven times in the Jordan River. Then you'll be completely cured. Why couldn't he come out here and talk to me? I thought for sure he would stand in front of me and pray to the Lord his God, then wave his hand over my skin and cure me. What about the Abana River? Or the Farpa River? Those rivers in Damascus are just as good as any river in Israel. I could have washed in them and been cured. Ah! Get it? Why wouldn't Elisha come out and see him? Why won't he even try? Why won't he listen? I don't understand. I don't know why he's doing it.
Who does he think he is, refusing to see me? He has no right to treat you this way. You're the commander of the Syrian army. I've come far across the mountains, brought gifts to his king, yet he refuses to come out and even speak to me himself. Go wash in this river. That's his answer to me? Sir, if the prophet had told you to do something very difficult, wouldn't you have done it? So you should certainly obey him when he says simply, go and wash and be cured. Joy, he's doing what Elisha said? Yeah. Thank you! Now I know that the God of Israel is the only God in the whole world. Sir, would you please accept a gift from me? I am a servant of the living Lord, and I swear that I will not take anything from you. As surely as the Lord lives, whom I serve, I will not accept any gifts. All right, but please allow me to load two of my mules with earth from this place. Then I will take it back home with me. What? Why does he want dirt? He wishes to take earth from this land to form the base of an altar he will build to the Israelites' God who has cured him. From now on, I will never again offer burnt offerings or sacrifices to any other god except the Lord. However, may the Lord pardon me in this one thing. When my master the king goes into the temple of the god Rimon to worship there and leans on my arm, may the Lord pardon me when I bow too. Go in peace.
been healed. Rimen did not answer my prayers. The God of Israel did. There is a prophet in Samaria who serves the one true God, and on this soil I will erect an altar, and our household will worship only the God of Israel from this day forward. Just the person to assign that 12 noon shift at the food pantry today. No more big boss doing it all myself attitude, huh? From now on, I'll stop trying to make things go the way I think they need to go. But what about the 12 noon spot, Joy? Maybe God's trying to tell me something, Giz. If a great general like Naaman can learn to act with a little humility, then I think I can learn to do the same. <sighs> what is that? It's a zombie attack! Run! Tones got downloaded. Yeah, but Gizmo doesn't know that. Zombies are coming! Save your skin! They're all around us! understand Bible, the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta-da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. 